Hey there, Woodsuit family, it's Ryan here, and right now I'm in the middle of wedding season. I suppose for other people, wedding season started a couple months ago, but this past weekend was my first wedding. It was a lot of fun, it was nice, it was small, it was close by, so we didn't really have to drive very far. It was a good gathering of friends, and it was a great celebration of the union of two of our friends. And then next weekend, we're heading to another wedding. The next one's a little bit further away, it's a couple cities over, but it's still going to be fun, lots of family, bigger weddings, so it's going to be pretty awesome. And of course, this is all a prelude because I'm going to have my wedding in like five weeks from now, so it's getting pretty close. I have to say, up until I think this year, I've never really been a fan of attending weddings. I don't have a problem with getting dressed or going to support friends and whatnot, but I tend to find that when it comes to the celebration and the dancing and the congratulations and stuff like that, I'm a little out of my element and I feel sometimes a little awkward. But then again, who doesn't feel awkward with that kind of stuff? I, I don't think that's unique to just me. But I guess there's something about being able to put yourself in somebody else's shoes that allows you to actually appreciate the moment or appreciate something that's going on that's special for them. Because in the planning of our wedding, and I have to say, in Sarah's planning of our wedding, but planning a wedding has helped given me a greater appreciation of what it is the purpose of a wedding is for. I mean, a wedding is a lot of things, but there's something about weddings that I never really understood up until now. It's the symbolism of people coming together to bear witness for people's declarations of love. People who are more than happy to come and, and bear witness to something that is, is supposed to be eternal. Before this year, I found that I would only be going to weddings because I was invited. You know, there was, there was the invitation went out and okay, it's people want me to go and I go. Now, I, I look at it as a slightly different way. I'm going because I want to spend time with these people who I mean enough to them that they want to share this special moment with them. And I get to participate in something that for them it's a once in a lifetime opportunity and it's a, it's a wonderful chance for us to forget everything else that's going on, to come together for one night and just have a good time to celebrate a great thing. But ultimately having people, a community of people coming together to all rally around two people that they feel strong enough that they want to be there and share it and express love and joy and celebration. It's just something that I never really understood up until now. And because now I understand that value, it makes going to these things so much more enjoyable for me. I can create memories and carry those forward with me in life. And it's one night where you can just get out of the house, not have to think about anything else. And in my case, give myself permission to dance. Cause you know what, I don't like to dance, but at a wedding, I'll go ahead and dance. All right, so that's one wedding down. I've got one more to attend. And then it's my big day where I'm gonna have to stop shaking and feeling terrified for just a few moments to show up to my own wedding. <laughs> nah, it's fine. Jim's gonna get me there. Uh, that's that's why I chose him to be the, the best man is he's got it covered. Anyways, thanks for stopping by. I hope you have a lot to celebrate and don't forget, stay awesome.